Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and I want to invite you to watch my report from Aquatics Live show which is taking place right now in the Olympia 2 Hall in London. I'm filming this on Saturday 19th November 2011. This is the logotype of this show and it is organized, the show is organized for the whole weekend of 19th and uh, 20th November. It's 9 o'clock a.m. now before opening the show for the, for the public. Here is the entrance to the hall, to the ground level. And uh, this is first such a large event in London for 20 years. And this is the reason why I came here, especially for this weekend, to film this show and to see how such events look like somewhere else, uh, as I usually film mostly in Poland, uh, where I live. In the first part of this report I want to make to take you for a short tour around the ground level of the show. There are two levels in the Olympia 2 hall. We are now on the ground level and there is a second underground level uh, below. You can see the, the stairs behind those security guys. We will go down there in the second part of the report. And now, well, it's enough of this introduction. Let's take a short tour around the ground hall, ground floor of the Aquatics Live show taking place in London in the Olympia 2 Hall. So we go down a few steps. Now we turn right and here are here begin uh, first stands. The first stand belongs to the Sublime Aquario company. Well, I don't know much about most of the companies as they are from England and I'm from Poland. But anyway, Sublime Aquario seems to provide various aquariums, cabinets and other equipments. Here is a very nice stand of the Aqua Jardin company. Oops, there are some people passing by. It's only half an hour before opening the show, so everyone is making final preparations. The Aqua Jardin company trading in marine aquariums, but, but also in freshwater aquariums. Oops, some more people. Here we have some very nice planted tanks. For sure I will be filming them using the tripod. These are three small tanks set up on the basis of one long piece of driftwood. And here is a second interesting planted tank, or fourth, <laughs> fourth I should say, considering those three small ones before. Very nice planted layout, which I will also film using the tripod. So this was the stand of the Aqua Jardin company. And now we proceed further. Now we do a fast 180 degrees turn. And on the left side here is the stand of the company CE Fish Essentials. Yeah, CE Fish Essentials. This is a company trading in various uh, frozen fish food. Here is one tank in which, well, this tank is uh, somewhat biotopish like with some angelfish and discus. So it is South America set up. The light, the light is turned off at the moment, but I will fill this tank when it will be fully operational. And on the other side, there is a stand of the Eheim company with a lot of equipment, various heaters, filters and so on. And when we turn right, we have another stand, quite a big one this time. This is the stand of ALF Aquatic Distributors, ALF Limited Aquatic, Aquatic Distributors, a company trading in all aspects, types of aquarium and terrarium products. And here is also a, a Polish accent on this stand. I found it with a surprise. Here it is. Uh, in Poland, we all know this sign. This is the, the logotype of the Polish company Aqua L. And here are some aquariums uh, manufactured by, by Aqua L, also some filters. Yeah, there should be a close up on the filters in a moment. Yeah, here they, here they are uh, filters manufactured by Aqua L. So, as we can see, Polish products are also present on the British market. And now we proceed further. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, we have to turn right first. This is the stand of uh, another company, Tropical Marine Center. Tropical Marine Center, there are some small tanks on, uh, on this stand. Here is one nano reef tank. 
the company is providing various products for general aquarium hobby it is also trading in marine livestock so here here are some tanks with various invertebrates in the left tank there is a mantis shrimp those jellyfish are probably Cassiopeia jellyfish oops the, the autofocus is trying to set the right distance the light is too dark here and on the other side of the stand there are also so oh no 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 sorry there are also some tanks right here some tanks with corals um, illuminated by the LED panels so yeah this was the stand of the company tropical marine center and now we go now we go further and here on the right side there is the stand of the magazine known probably to all aquarists all over the world the practical fish keeping magazine whoever is interested in the fish keeping hobby even if he doesn't know english language uh, probably heard about this journal anyway this is the best selling aquarium magazine in the united kingdom so this was the stand of the practical fish keeping magazine and here is another stand of the squama company a distributor of the sack fish food now we go to the stand arranged by the crocodiles of the world and this company is the first and only actually first and only crocodile zoo in england some small crocodiles will be presented here yesterday when i was visiting this stand everything was being prepared but today as, as we can see the pool is already filled with water and there are some yeah there are some crocodiles here this will be definitely an attraction <laughs> for the public so this was the exhibition crocodiles of the world with also some some facts uh, provided about about the crocodiles and from this point begins a small terroristic part of this exhibition of this show here is the stand of the company glenn chandler reptiles where mostly snakes are presented uh, glenn is a breeder of snakes and here is here is another terroristic stand of the exoterra company actually quite similar to the stand which i filmed in wrocław in poland this year during the zoobotanica 2011 first nice large terrariums although when you take a, a closer look uh, it turns out that all those lush green plants are actually artificial and here is yeah, <laughs> yeah here is here is uh, one chandelion uh, yesterday when i was looking at those terrariums there were no animals but now they are being released into the tanks so this was a chameleon green <laughs> as those artificial plants <laughs> this was the stand of, of exoterra company and now we turn left we go past the wall of the stand of the alf aquatic distributors company alf, alf limited alf limited aquatic distributors sorry and here on the left side we have the stand of coventry aquatics the stand of coventry aquatics on which several interesting uh, quite sophisticated products are presented i'm thinking here about the the lamps the the illumination I'm thinking about the hoods and uh, also about the cabinets on which the aquariums are standing. Uh, I already talked with the owner of the company for a while and uh, obviously he wants to tell us something about his products and uh, because they look really interesting, they seem to be of high quality and they seem to be easy to use, I decided to make an interview with the owner to tell us something about, uh, about his products. And here, here is an aquarium which wasn't set up yesterday, but now there are rainbow fish and plants inside. So it's a freshwater aquarium. When we go further, we find the stand of the Star Fisheries Company, which is trading in many varieties of fancy goldfish, which can be easily stated judging by the fish swimming in this large tank. There is also a small shallow tank with some small goldfish uh, probably the visitors especially children will have a lot of fun 
playing with those fish a little bit. And when we turn around, we find the stand of the biorb aquariums. Those biorbs are made of acrylic and uh, as we can see there are several smaller and larger bowls and also other containers which in my opinion have more to do with interior design, with fashion, than with the true aquarium hobby uh, because all those plants are artificial plants and corals. Here is an, oh, here is a, here is an example of a tank with artificial corals. Mm, all those tanks are aesthetic in a way, they, they are looking nice this one, this one for example, this could be a nice planted layout but the plants are plastic, very nice lush green color but all this, except fish, <laughs> except fish, all this is, is artificial. Here is another buyer, this time resembling a marine aquarium to some extent but those corals are also artificial and this is not a marine tank as there are some barbs swimming inside. Here are some zebra fish and here this red one, this is another planted layout which could be very nice and interesting if only those plants were real. Anyway, those biorbs have pretty good filtration in the bottom, made of some foam and, foam and ceramics, I will show it in one of the next movies. And now we have a wider view of the stand with all the biorbs visible. <coughs> On the left side there is the stand of the Tetra company and when we go further, yeah, here on the right side, oh, well, in the center of the view right now, here is one of the seminar, seminar theaters because during Aquatics Life there will be lectures as well, there will be Chris Lukaup speaking, there will be Heiko Blecher speaking, I will not film those presentations because I'm here to film aquariums. Uh, but such presentations will be held here, so as you can see the event is quite a big one. And here is the stand of the company Maidenhead Aquatics. The company Maidenhead Aquatics, which offers, among other products, also plastic plants. To be honest, I am really surprised by the amount of all those plastic plants in this show. In Poland this part of the market is definitely smaller, we are using mostly living plants in our tanks. And in England, at least judging by what I, I saw here, plastic plants are very popular. Here is a very nice layout. Have a look, an interesting tank, but when you look closer, it turns out that all those plants are plastic ones. Really interesting, really nice layout, but all, all this is uh, artificial. And on the right side there is a rack, a shelf, filled with various models of plastic plants. Actually, a whole diverse layout can be arranged only on the basis of those plants. Look how many of them are here, how many different models of those plants are available. Uh, but anyway, those plants uh, constitute only a small part of the offer of Maidenhead Aquatics. Whoops, there is someone watching this tank now. Here in the middle of the stand are several tanks with natural life plants. Here are some uh, more layouts based on plastic, various smaller and bigger aquariums. And here with the red hood is one tank with live plants and rainbow fish. And this large tank in the middle is also arranged using uh, plastic plants. Look, the layout is really interesting, but the whole layout is uh, is based on, on plastic. So this was the company Maidenhead Aquatics. Oops, <laughs> I have to move away. Some people are going through. And here on the other side, there is a stand of Aquatic Design Center. Aquatic Design Center, this is a company from London. And to my surprise, there are Polish people working here, which I found out because I heard one of the employees talking through his mobile phone. And to my surprise, he was talking in Polish. So, well, Polish people seem to be everywhere. Here are some tanks with uh, living plants for sale. Bigger plants, smaller plants. And here is, oops, here is a whole campaign of preparations going on. Here are some 
some interesting layouts which I will definitely film using the tripod but now I will not disturb those guys as they are really busy at the moment. This is the stand of the JBL company. There is one nice layout with guppies. Here it is, a small planted aquarium with very nice colors and very peaceful atmosphere. atmosphere. I, I like this layout very much so I will be filming it with tripod. On the opposite corner of the stand there is another nice planted tank but I will show it in a moment. And here we proceed to another stand, the stand of ITC Aquatics and Marine Mad website. Uh, well, I don't know much about marine aquariums, but this tank in the middle, it attracted my attention because here is this Vortec propeller pump generating waves. This pump is quite ingenious. The motor is outside the tank and two parts of the pump are bind together through the glass by, by the magnet. So this was the Vortec pump. Now we proceed further to the far end of this floor. Here is a large marine tank, which has my favorite dimensions. I liked it from the first side, as it is very long, very wide and very low. I like such proportions of aquariums. This is a marine tank. Yesterday there were no fish here, but now they were released into the tank. So we can go around this aquarium. Yeah, I thought <laughs> there will be some sort of a banner or a poster on this column, but <laughs> there was nothing here just the logotype of Aquatics Life below this large marine tank. Now we can have a quick look on the whole stand of the JBL company. And here on the left side, uh, left side of the stand is this planted tank I was talking about earlier, the tank on the corner of the stand. This is a nice planted tank illuminated by a warm yellowish light with a school of Ramino's Tetras. I will film this layout using the tripod because it's really interesting and really, really nice. And a little bit further there is another small planted tank. I'm not sure if it is not one of the Aqua L shrimp sets. It's quite similar but probably not as it, is, has, it has no logotype of, of this company. Such a small nice tank with some amber tetras swimming inside. So, I think this would be all for the first part of my report from the Aquatics Live, Aquatics Live show in, in London. This was the ground floor of the Olympia 2 hall and in the next movie we will visit the lower ground floor of the hall. Thank you for your attention, this was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television, Definite Aquascape TV.